So for you growing up in Arusha, what was that like for you? What were your parents like? What music were you listening to? Um, so first of all, I love Arusha. I cannot speak enough about how beautiful, how calm, how peaceful that city is. So for those who yeah. don't know at all, it's, you know, it's in the north of Tanzania and it's the, it, they call it the Geneva of Africa, mostly because yeah. it is the hub for, you know, they conducted the criminal tribunals for the genocide in Rwanda and Arusha. So for a long time, it was the place where people um, came together to, to bring resolve in a time where it was very much needed. But yeah. other than that, now um, it continues on that legacy and it always has because it's the port where we first land to go to the base of the Kilimanjaro if you're climbing the mountain or yes. if, if you know if you're going to the national parks you know you go from Arusha to the Serengeti and the Ngorongoro and all these amazing you know wonders of the world that are all found within you know yeah. our little part of the world growing up there for me um, my father and my mother were diplomats, so they traveled a lot. Yeah. So when we finally were stationed somewhere, you would think that my dad would think would opt for, you know, the more bustling city, which is Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. But Arusha felt more like a retirement city for him, but also a nice place to raise these young kids. One thing I can say for sure, there was just so much excitement. We were so excited to be mm. in Africa, to be alive, to be a part of this great story, which was just unraveling at the time in the early 90s. I mean, in the late 90s, early 2000s, I wish I wasn't a city yet. And it was just turning into this city that yeah. it now is now. And, you know, yeah. a lot of the development happened around that time. So there's the introduction of cable satellite television. So our musical influences are now happening through Mnet and Channel O and yeah. MTV eventually. I remember those yes, days. You know. yeah. So we were just, you know, we, we, I think, had this incredible time where we were crossing over from being African with a lot of African influence, but now having the influx of international media. The Africa Whisperer, Lee Kasumba, telling authentic African stories from a global perspective.